We are going to go ahead and speed up your connection on your computer so your internet speed is faster than it what it is. So this will go ahead and help anyone that's using PC and not just for Fortnite but for any game or for downloading anything this should improve speed across the board for you. So you want to make sure you follow this video. Make sure you go ahead and stay to the end so you have all the steps complete. You don't want to miss a step because that could cause problems. If you are having any issues or you don't want to do this, you want to change it later, just basically do everything in reverse and you'll be all set. But I do recommend this and I have shown this on the PS4. So now we're showing it on the computer because the likes and views are up. So thank you so much. If you want to see this on more platforms, I can do a version to show you how to get it on your router. So it just gets on all your systems or I could even go ahead and show you how to get it set up on your switch possibly uh, go ahead and make sure you like it and let me know in the comments if that's the case with that let's go ahead and get started and guys if you are new here and you like tech fixes tutorials and gaming make sure you do me a favor and smack that subscribe button it really does go far far way in my book so thank you guys so much subscribes have definitely been jumping up lately so let's go ahead and jump into this like I said so what we want to do is be on the computer we want to be in the control panel, but before we get it started, we want to go ahead and make sure this is going through and it's faster. So we're going to do a speed test to start. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Brave browser at speedtest.net. If you haven't used Brave browser, you should. Google Chrome is really starting to be more um, checking in on everything you're doing and tracking stuff even more, more and more spyware. Brave browser is very similar to Google Chrome, except it is protecting stuff you have shields here and we're going to go ahead and turn the shields off for this site so we can go ahead and get everything it needs and we're going to go ahead and just choose go this location isn't real close to me but we'll still get an accurate reading so let's go ahead and go and get a good idea of how this works so let's let the speed test begin and then we'll compare it to the later results once we have those looks like we're around 55 down not bad going 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 this should be finishing up in a moment and then we'll get those settings the settings aren't too difficult to change there's a few steps to get there but not hard once we get them so there we go we got 54.17 8.95 i'm going to leave this here and we'll minimize it for now we'll come back to that after we get the settings changed let's go and go in your search bar there and type control panel and we're going to go ahead and choose that. When control panel comes up, we are looking for network and internet. We'll go ahead and click on that. Here we'll see network and sharing center. We'll go ahead and choose that. Now that we are here, we are going to choose change adapter settings. For this computer, I currently have it running uh, ethernet cable so we'll go ahead and choose this we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna choose properties exciting stuff I know <laughs> alright so now that we're here some things are gonna be coming up under networking we're gonna look for internet protocol version 4 TCP IP version 4 transition control protocol internet protocol version 4 is basically what that is so we'll go ahead and select that and once we have that selected we're gonna go ahead and hit properties again so this is the window we're looking at and this is the only window we are going to be making changes on. So all you have to do is where it says use the following DNS server addresses, we're going to go ahead and click on that. I've explained this before but real quick I'll explain it again. So DNS stands for domain name service. Basically it puts a number with a website. That way you don't have to remember the number like a phone number every time you call up a website you can just put in the name. So what we're doing is we're changing this to the number one DNS, fastest in the world. This is for pretty much everywhere, not just US, so it goes everywhere. And if not, I'll put a secondary address up top here so you can check that up out, which is Google's. Google's is pretty good, but I usually recommend this one because it's safe, it's secure, it's private. And you know, Google is a little uh, taking more and more data and being a little more spy worthy lately. So with that, we're going to go ahead and put this service. Their address is 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. And their backup is 
1.0.0.1. So now we have that set up. So what it's going to do is instead of going to whatever automatically domain name server is close to you, it's going to go to the fastest one there is out right now. And it's very fast. It's even crushing Google, which is very, very interesting. So with this, now you'll be able to go ahead and find out where the website is and it'll be quicker for you to download things and your speed will be quicker. It's just quicker all around. So we want to go ahead and choose OK here and close here. So what you want to do is you want to restart your computer and give it another try. We're running another speed test to go through and get an idea of where we're at. Looks to be about the same. So some people may not see a benefit, some people will see a big benefit. It depends where you are in the world. So if you are having problems with your download speed, this should help it. Uh, yeah, it's running a little bit better. So that's good. So this could help you a lot, this could help you a little. It's hard to say depending on how your computer is set up now and what it's using right now. So give this a try. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you, if it did increase your speed test afterwards. And it's just speedtest.net. You can test it. I'll put that link down there as well. If you're having problems with ping after this, you can also check out this video right here. It's a really good one that helps with ping. I'll see you over in the video.